Hey guys, we're getting ready to start a new segment on the channel as we look back at three years of Old Car Guy on YouTube. And we're going back to year one and taking some of those good videos, good, <laughs> from the archives and we're rebroadcasting them on the channel so that you guys can take a look and see exactly where Old Car Guy came from. Uh, the channel started out as Old Car Auto Guy basically named after the business, the used car lot, and uh, we changed that last year to Old Car Guy, and now we're kind of sitting at OCG, or Old Car Guy. And I want you guys to take a look back and see just exactly how I got started, because there's a lot of you that haven't seen some of those older videos, and all we're doing is I'm gonna rebroadcast them with a new intro, and I hope that you guys enjoy what you see. Please go easy on me in the comments, because some of these videos are kind of brutal to watch. I'm warning you. So once in a while, I do come out to the shop and do some uh, minor repairs. And we got this 2008 RAV4 that came in for an inspection. And uh, his front brake pads uh, our and beat. now it's ready just to about down to nothing so we're gonna do the pads and I've suggested at this point in time we do rotors these ones are uh, rusty and uh, scored up pretty bad so so we've already got the caliper bolts off and we'll take that and just set that up here for now and as you can see not a whole lot of material left on those pads just about beat that's the inside one and the outside ones not much better so anytime we take the caliper off we also want to check these uh, bolts here that, that move they're supposed to move fairly freely when you uh, for your caliper and this one here is it's moving but it's stiff that one's not moving at all so we're gonna have to free that one up and we're also going to lube up these uh, sliders here so that the brake pads slide good inside those uh, when the caliper is moving so now we're going to try and push that caliper piston back and make sure that it's not sized up as well Now there's two reasons why we push that caliper back is because A, you gotta make room for the new material on the uh, new pads. The second reason is, is because you wanna make sure that it's not seized up. If it is seized up and you can't put that caliper back, you'll never get the brakes back together. So now we gotta get that caliper bracket off with a 17 millimeter. I've already loosened these up so they're not so hard. Okay, so we've got the pins, so they're moving freely. And the slides are all lubed up and cleaned up, so ready for the brake pads. We'll go over and remove the rotor. Now, let's friggin' rotor off here. Yeah, a couple of good whacks. That's going to 
that somebody's being the floor. It's all covered in greasy paper. Shiny. Just worry about that. I must have break in there and get some greasy fingerprints off of it. Now you'll see the difference between the old and new pad. Obviously there's quite a bit more material on there. Now we're ready for the caliber. Okay, now we'll do the same to the other side. Okay, so we got the front brakes, the pads and rotors done on this Toyota RAV4. And if you remember when we had the caliper apart, we pushed that piston back on both sides. So one of the first things you got to remember when you get back into the vehicle is to pump the brake until the pedal feels hard. And the reason why we do that is because if you don't, the first two or three times you step on the brakes you're not going to have any and uh, we learned that the hard way once a long time ago and just about put a car through the wall of the shop but uh, you learn from those mistakes I'll tell you hey Johnny nice truck is that the one you bought there at Old Car Auto are we ready to go <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was waiting to see if you were recording oh, Sorry. Ready. well they do have a real nice pickup out there with your name on it you want to go for a rip there, bud? Yeah, bud. But before we go, oh, sorry. But before we go, here, take one of my referral cards. Say, Johnny, does that thing got a Hemi? Yeah, buddy. Then you better give her. I gotta go. Really? You gave enough referrals to pay for all that? I sure did. <laughs> First rule of recording. Come Johnny, on, you're not helping. <laughs> Better shut mine off too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that and got a good laugh and maybe a little bit of education on some of the stuff that we talked about in that video. But nevertheless, uh, that's it. That's that's one of the uh, that's probably like the third or fourth video that I ever did and put it up on YouTube three years ago. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you have subscribed and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you choose is okay by me. Um, and. You know, go ahead, comment in this comment section down below. Tell me how you think I was doing back then compared to how I'm doing now. And uh, we'll take that with a grain of salt because uh, I know it's kind of cringy. I do. Yep. Um, I go back every once in a while and pick up an old video and watch it again. And I think, what was I thinking? Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next episode.